G'day trendsetters. Today I am coming to you from beautiful sunny California, namely Burbank. I am riding a rock cobbler tomorrow. I arrived in Burbank last night. I'm just conducting a little shakedown ride of the bike. I've got a rough plan, about 28 kilometers to shake out the bike and make sure the climbing gears are working because there's going to be a lot of climbing at Rock Cobbler. Brand Library and Art Centre. Weather is off the chart. Gorgeous today. Brand Motorway. On your left. And we're going uphill already. Whew. Nothing like no warm up. <laughs> Nothing like 14% to get the legs going. Straight out of the parking lot. <laughs> My 3140 low gear is coming in super handy at the moment and here's a climbing tip for those folks that are new to this sort of cycling or any cycling take the longer line on the outside way less steeper gradient versus the inside line this is why i ride bikes look at these bloody views this weather off the fucking chart we are well and truly on the gravel surfaces now. Thankfully, the climbing is accomplished early in this route. People say Los Angeles sucks for cycling. Well, that's kind of a running joke because when you've got Areas like this to ride in. Still got plenty of climbing to go. An even better view. This is bloody mental. Probably not the best sort of ride to be doing the day before Rock Cobbler, but you know, this whole YouTube channel and everything else is about madness. So no work and faris. Super awesome practice for tomorrow's Rock Cobbler. <laughs> it's getting dodgier up here. I'm pleased to report the bike is performing superbly. Me, not so much. There's a view for you folks, that's downtown Los Angeles, way up in the distance. Quick look at my steed from this vantage point, T-Lab X3.22. I've got a pretty detailed video about this bike set up for tomorrow's Rock Cobbler in the description below. But real quick, 4130 2x GRX DI2 setup with an 11 to 40 cassette, 11 speed, which works bloody perfectly. And the crazy thing... RockShox Reverb Explore Access Drop a Seat Post controlled wirelessly by that blip box and that little button on the inside of my right side drop handlebar. That ends the ascending for today. Look how steep that MFR is. I'm saving my legs for hiker biking for tomorrow's Rock Cobbler. What is going on here? However, there is a good opportunity to test the dropper seat post today. 
on this crazy descent so let's get that knocked out and i'm gonna run the front camera in the interest of my personal safety riding around one-handed climbing is one thing but descending well that's another i have some skills but not next level skills You tend to forget how much descending can also blow your bloody legs out. The dropper has been fantastic, but obviously you're suspending a bit of body weight using your little calf muscles. Mine are pretty diminutive, even if I was flexing <laughs> then. down the mountain without dying. Confirm the bike's working bloody perfectly. All right, trendsetters, that completes today's little shakeout ride of my bike for tomorrow's rock cobbler. Legs feel a bit dodgy, but what are you gonna do? As always, thank you for watching. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the Gravel Cyclist YouTube channel for interesting cultural content. I don't know, such as this, ride experience videos, no bull gravel bike reviews, other product reviews, and of course my favorites, general madness. That's right. As all of it is released to the channel, I'll see you in the next video.